having learned how to take a strip pattern for your divots, now the ball's airborne and landing on the putting surface, it's going to create some pitch marks. And there are two types here. So John, I'd like you to uh, examine these closely and explain to us the best way of dealing with these two particular pitch marks. Certainly Luther. If you see the pitch marks on my right hand side, uh, this has been created by a, a high shot coming in quite vertically, so it creates a, a vertical depression. Um, with this type of pitch mark, you would want to raise the putting green up into the centre, like so, to bring the turf back to the surface to create a level playing surface. With the pitch mark on my left hand side, the ball's come in a lot more shallow traje trajectory and the impact is on the far side of the pitch mark. In this scenario, we need to move the turf back forwards to remove the compaction and close the pitch mark in like this. In this situation, if you were to lever the centre of the pitch mark back to the surface again, all it would create is a small spot of root zone which it takes much longer for the grass to recover over. Okay. Great, so that's fantastic John. So really the first one was a dent uh, that was fairly uniform and the other pitch mark was compacted at the back and a slightly different approach. I didn't know that, that's really helpful. I'm sure the viewers will find that really helpful as well. Thanks John, that's great.